Since the beginning of time, Call of the Wild has had one rifle that absolutely evolutionized the game. I'm talking about the 7.6 Mosin Nagan. When the Mosin Nagan first came out, you could take down anything from coyotes all the way to black bear. And honestly, this thing was an absolutely epic rifle for coyotes. You could literally sniper them at almost 400 yards out. Well, maybe 400 is pushing it. And if it's less than 200 yards, that thing is absolutely going to get smoked. Wow, he did not go very far at all. Maybe 50 yards from the Mosin Nagan and he piled right over. Let's take a look at that. It's going to be a perfect left long shot and we just barely shot underneath the heart and i mean like barely you know actually it looks like we nicked the bottom of the heart there if you look at it from that angle there but that's gonna be a nice gold black bear 19.39 dark boy those were some good times when you could actually use the mosin nagan and hunt for things not like now where you can't even use it for the coyotes and no one really uses it for whitetails anymore, so it kind of doesn't get used at all. Now, I'm not saying it's a huge buck, but we got one out there at 350 yards. Let's see what the Mosin Nagan is all about. Got him. Ooh, what do we got out there? another coyote now this is going to be a heck of a shot that thing's out there probably 360. i'll be honest i don't know if we could pull off this shot i really don't have a clue where to aim i'm thinking like top of the head we should hit somewhere but i just don't know it's so far holy and we got the wind as well to factor in You know, I think we would have had him. Whew. Okay, here we go. That was a miss. There's a bunch of coyotes out there. Wow, that's far. All right, so that's 440. I don't really know where to hold at that distance, to be honest. Okay, well, I take that back. It is possible to get a coyote at over 440 yards on the walk. Well, we got one piled up right here. And this might be the only one that we got, actually. There's our shot, 422 yards, and we actually shot, I mean, pretty level, but super, super far back. All right, let's find our buck that we took. Should be laying around here somewhere. Yep, there it is right there. So there we have it, a 351 yard shot going straight for the heart and it actually stopped because it hit the shoulder. Couldn't quite penetrate through and get double lung and heart actually, that would have been a double lung heart shot. Look at that. So the thing about the Mosin Nagant is you actually do use soft points as well and they don't really penetrate as much as the Palmer tips, but that's actually not bad there. I remember at the time, that's when we had the 243 bolt action rifle as well as the 7mm break action. And though the 7mm worked pretty good, it wasn't as accurate. It did have a lot of knockdown power, but it didn't have a fast reload time and it wasn't quite near as accurate as, say, the Mosin Nagant. So when the Mosin Nagant came out, holy did it change everything. And not only that, it helped us get our first ever 1000 scoring diamond white tail buck. If you look closely, you can see there's a big old buck out there about 400 yards out. Now, we don't have a shot, and I honestly don't think we're going to get a shot, so... Huh. Uh... I don't think they even heard that shot. 
Wow, okay. How about this? Oh, like, <laughs> they definitely heard that one. Oh, there's our big buck. There's our big buck. That's a good buck too. But we are not going to get a shot off. Holy, they're a long ways out there. Well, what we could do is try and get closer, I suppose. I thought that was him, but it's not. They're right there. All right, so we got a good buck there at 180 plus. Hold up. We got more there. Pay close attention. Oh, wow. He's got to be in here. Look at the size of that herd of whitetail. There's got to be like 15 whitetails in there. Oh, there he is. Oh, my God. There he is. He's 150 yards out. We should probably make sure we got a bullet in here. Oh, he's coming right for us. Look at, there he is right there. Wait a second. Oh my God. He is going to be right on top of us. Uh. Dropped him. Perfect shot. There was another 200 plus buck over there and I was trying to get him. But I didn't want to lose sight of this buck, of course. Well, we found him. I knew he was over here. Wow, he came so close. 16 yards away and we made a long heart shot. 223 gold. Now that is a buck. Holy, we just came around this next bend here and we got not only one, but two giant whitetails. This thing has a minimum of 199. This one is 176, so they're both 200 plus. But we're talking about 280 yards out there, so we're gonna get a good bit of drop here. I'm thinking we'll zero for 300 and hold right for the heart. That's the one thing about the Mosin, is it doesn't have as flat of shooting abilities as say like the AR. Well, that was a perfect shot. Dropped him right there. We might have been just a touch high. In all reality, I don't think we're gonna get a shot at the second buck. Well, at this point, all we can really do is hope that we definitely caught the top of the lung, aside from the spine. And we know that we for surely got the bigger of the two. That is gonna be a spine shot. Son of a. Wow, he was huge too. 275 yards and we barely missed the top of the lung. We should have held right here. If we held right here, we would have hit right here. Instead, we held right here and we hit right here. Well, we got the biggest buck. But that shot was not very impressive. I really don't like messing up shots on big bucks like that. So we're going to track down this other buck here and see if we can't put a nice shot into him. All right, well, according to this, it looks like our buck is headed right over to this tent here. And if we can get there to get into our tripod, we should be setting pretty good. I hear him. Oh my God, there he goes. No freaking way. Oh my God, what a perfect setup. What a perfect setup. He's crossing right in front of us. There he goes. Ooh, he's a big buck. All right, let's stop talking, hey, and get on him so we can take a nice shot. Well, we gotta have a better angle than that. That'll work. Smoked him. And he's down. Hey, we got a doe coming across as well. She's hit twice. Three times. Oh, the third shot was really good. She's going down right there. She's down. All right, here we go. Man, that worked out perfect. We were able to fast travel to our tent. And by the time we got here, we got here at the split moment that that buck decided to cross right in front of us. We were able to get into the tripod and made a nice shot as he was quartering away running at about 130 yards. 
Then we even got a nice little dough for a bonus as well. And our dough is piled up right here. And there is our buck. Here's our dough. The third shot did get intestine. Okay, so both shots got intestine. Oh. Yeah. We're lacking quite a bit of penetration with this. But it did take him down. Here we go. Here's our buck. Got a right lung shot. 120 yards on the run. And a 210 gold white tail buck. There we go. Beautiful buck. Holy, look at the size of that ram right there. We finally have a potential 170 plus Mouflon. He literally has a double curl on both sides. Wow. Now, it's almost getting dark out already, so we really don't have a ton of time left over here. But luckily, this thing just decided to walk in. And there he is right there. Let's get ready and go for a shot. Now, I don't know if we can actually take a shot through this fence. So we're not going to risk it. We're going to go right over the top. And there he is. He was about to bolt. And we just smoked him. Nonetheless, here is our massive Mouflon, and that, I believe, is a 170 plus. He really looked like he had the 170 plus. I mean, he's our biggest one so far. Ended up getting a stomach, liver, and left lung shot at 150 yards. He's got a very impressive curl, but nowhere even near that 170 plus mark. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. A lot of deer over there as well. 150s. 130s, 150s. Uh, that's a far shot. That's like 400 yards. All right. I just want to take a shot over there to find out what our drop is like. Yeah, it's 400. It's a hit. What? No way. Our buck went down. You guys, we got honey pressure. Our buck actually went down. That shot was over 420 yards. And that connected. It was so far that the percentage didn't even drop.